Hello, this is not a spring chicken, yes? Oh, now this is, this news could totally change TV. It happens to be Taylor Armstrong from the Beverly Hills Housewives, her um, estranged husband. Um, shall we, can we say this? He hung himself. So I have a feeling that reality TV is going to forever change. In fact, they're talking about not bringing the second season back right now. Oh, but that's not the only news that's going on, so for now. Oh, yes, and the president's address again this morning. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it was his 10th address. No, this was his oh, 40th cool. address. He's leading into his ninth, his 10th major oh, address. Oh, 10th major address? Okay, see, part of it is it's like, look, who's keeping track of it, right? Everybody in the press. <laughs> yeah, but part of it is, is it's changing because before they used to listen to the whole address, now they listen to part of it and they say, if you want to watch the whole address, go somewhere else. So, anyway, those are the big news today, but for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. I know. And Obama is to have a national address to announce his new jobs programs, job super committee, info, info structure, bank, green energy, and more regulations. I, I know. Okay. I, I, I don't want to. Okay. Rex, everybody knows Rex worships the ground the president walks on, so I have to cover his ears when I talk. Um, they said that everything, uh, this morning, everybody, all the networks just cut out after he started talking about the things that we have to do that are going to be included in his after Labor Day address. We have to have stronger unions. Mm -hmm. Ooh. We need to have more regulations to get people to invest in our country. Uh, we need green jobs. And up to, you know, we need to have an infrastructure bank. We need to pump money into biofuels. We need to have more, we need to have shared sacrifice and billion, millionaires and billionaires must start contributing to our country. I know Rex doesn't want to hear this, but the president says that in every speech, they went back, they said if you listen to a speech today, his first campaign speech said exactly the same thing, except instead of saying, you know, uh, we need change, he's now saying, you know, um, you know the, our, our friend the cable guy, get her done. <laughs> Get her done. I Where's, remember that. Uh, okay, okay, we don't want to, we got to really cover his ears, but with Obama, is get her done someday. And Obama blames Congress Republicans on the bus tour. Oh, yeah, he, you know, I've offered my hand out for them to work with me to make this country better. The whole problem is that no time has he said, I will work with them. It has always worked with me, and his idea of working with me, I heard this last night, I mean, they got the talking points out again, which is, I find is unbelievable. He has created two million jobs in the private sector. He has, he has, no, he hasn't created one job. And then he asked the, asked the Democratic mouthpiece, name me one job that he has supposedly created in the private sector that they're still working today. Well, these people simply took the money and then didn't keep these people working. Well, no, because all the jobs he created were private sector jobs. They were using pu the public sector jobs, using private sector people to do it, and they were temporary jobs. They were never, he's not creating full-time jobs with his um, government programs. They're part-time jobs or temporary jobs. Mm -hmm. And Obama to use the Interior Department and the EPA to kill oil drilling in the United oh States. Oh God, they're declaring plants that are basically, a, I mean, they're, they're weeds in other states they're declaring as uh, endangered species in some states. You know, like the, I heard one person, I, I, I love it this morning, he, he said, I was just, you know, he did this, uh, he said, lady, this was environmental protection, he took his shoe off, and he, he, he said, lady, See what's on the bottom of my shoe? It's seeds from those endangered species in Colorado. They're everywhere in my state. But here, and he just said, here, go save the endangered species. And he gave her the shoe and she wouldn't take it. Ooh. Because they're, they said what they're doing is that, I love this this morning. Well, we realize that, that these may be unpublished and uh, they may not be substantiated in the long run, but we cannot afford to take the chance. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that they said, they will admit, well, yes, we do admit that if it gets on the endangered species list, it is virtually impossible to take them off, which means that area will never again be able to be used. They said, 
That's the whole process. That's what the Democrats are doing to stop, stop drilling, to stop coal mining, everything. They're, they're looking for a plant or something in an area, declaring it an endangered species, knowing you stopped the whole thing for years while it's in the court system. And then when it's done, they can never do it again. So No, they can't. It's just a plan by the Democrats to stop. But we have to have, we must have our energy independence. But what it is, okay, if, uh, I'm going to bring Rex out again. I, I have to cover Rex's ears when I talk about the president. Obama's a Muslim, folks. Where, where are we getting all the oil from? Uh -huh. From Muslim countries. Oh, I know Rex. I know I, 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 Rex doesn't want to hear this, but they all happen to be of they all happen to be of Muslims that happen to be members of the tribe that he happened to be a member of in the Muslim world. Isn't that amazing? The people that he that his his sect is fighting against are the people that Obama is supporting military action against. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And Obama to use the Interior Department and the EPA. Oh. Well, I know because it is important. It upsets her. I know. Well, how about a leaked rape report which sparks new fear in the Strauss Khan case? Oh yeah. Well, because the problem is, is that they're doing everything they can to bury that case because they they're not going to get a grand jury indictment against him again because she lied the first time. So she's trying a civil case now. And the civil court, they're not going to support the woman because she basically lied about everything. You know, she had a bank account that was big enough to choke a horse. And she'd done it before. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I remember, okay, I'm going to really tell you about it. I worked on a bad movie that had Fred McMurray in it. And it had his wife, June Haver, in it. And she was playing an Indian. Oh, I remember Anthony Quinn was playing the Indian chief. They created the Badger game, which is basically uh, he, uh, Frederick Gray, I think, had to buy Manhattan Island because uh, he'd been seen fooling around with the young lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they were, they used to call it the Badger game when I was younger. Expect many union strikes leading into the 2012 election to show union power. I, I know, they have no power, but they're gonna, they're going to shut down one business after another business with Obama's support. Which basically, I mean, the man does not, he is delusional. I, this is what I heard one of the left comics say last night, who basically worships the ground he works on, is the fact that uh, that's what scares me. They don't think this man actually knows what's going on. They actually mm. think that his people have told him all this stuff is working. And that he believes them because when he goes out among the public, he generally only goes out among, he goes into areas that support him and surround himself with people that worship him. Yeah, but once in a while, one of them gets through it. Oh, the problem is, is that the people that worshiping are very far behind. You know, this morning, people, uh, the black, the Maxine Walters has turned against him. Lots of Which is actually is pretty remarkable. Because he's done nothing. Remarkable. The highest unemployment rate in the country is among black, me, black males. They're not getting any jobs out of this mess. And the U.S. releases CIA documents on the Bay of Pigs invasion. Oh yeah, they're showing how. The United States was unlawfully trying to overthrow a, a lawfully elected government. Oh, really? Well, remember, you know how communist elections are. There's one person on the ballot. <laughs> yeah. And turns out the Obama buses were built in Canada. Oh, I, I know. Isn't that amazing? Well, we couldn't get what we needed to be done done in this country. And then I hear one of the guys that uh, builds travel, he builds armored vehicles for personnel in the industry, you know, the need of the United States, he said, uh, could have bought it in Nashville, we'd have done it for a lot less. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know why it didn't go to Nashville? Mm -hmm. Because it's a right to work state. And it would have been non-union doing it. So he couldn't get it built in a union area, so he went to Canada, which they're now laughing their heads off. Because the UAW workers, uh, you mean you had those god-awful big buses built out of the United States, and UAW even, UAW could have done it, well, they, well, we couldn't get it done by a union plant. Well, there's, there's plants that are not union that have UAW people in them. Mm -hmm. On trading floors, fear of what tomorrow will bring? Oh, well, this morning it actually went up on god awful horrible news, but it went up on the fact that, uh, oh, it's amazing. All the things that Obama runs went up this morning. Mm -hmm. Up just enough to put it into the positive sector for the week. And Obama is the moderate, always willing to compromise outside running, outside of running against his own party, 
and what they and Bush did to the country. I know. Uh, I mean, they're, they're, everybody is mystified. I mean, I'm listening to one of the people last night. And it's like, how she, could he ever be a moderate outsider? He's mystified. He's running. He, he said his moderate. No, well, they blame him. This man basically would sell his mother out in order to get reelected. He'll do anything he has to to get reelected. And now he's running against the people he needs to get money from. His campaign donate, he has to make, I think, $165 million a month. And he's bringing in like $40 million a month. He's not going to get anywhere close to his billion dollars that he needs. Mm. Why well, he keeps pissing off his own people? Well, part of it is if he gets a billion dollars, like how much did he pocket last election? Four hundred and seventy-five million, as I understand. Yeah. And he wants that billion. So, uh, okay, this is a guy that's preparing to flee the nation. So actually, he could end up making almost a billion dollars from running for president twice, yeah. just from the election. Which make him the richest president ever. Mm-hmm. And anywhere in the country the Democrats are in charge, the economy is booming. Um, they both ask them where. <laughs> what state that the Democrats are running is the economy booming? They said, well, California's got money they didn't really know that they were going to have. It's called stimulus money, folks. They got money from the federal government, which is what they're using right now. When that runs out, that's why uh, Brown wants taxes raised. And, of course, all those businesses, he said that, they would never dare leave the state of California. Well, they left the state of California. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Actually, this one's a, this one's sort of a variation of the old Mark Twain thing. Those that can do and those that can't become politicians. So.